Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Made with Love. My name is Heather. Uh, sorry about the sound, my son is upstairs vacuuming and cleaning his room today. So he's doing that right now. So, I've, so I got these jars. This one here is a nice juice jug. I got from Dollarama for $2.50 and it says lemonade on it. It's got pictures of lemons. I wanted to paint that um, yellow and green to match the little kitchen set I got. And I also have a couple of these little canning jars that have got the fruit on them. I also like to kind of paint those. Now first I was going to paint using my earring. Sorry. Oh, I just didn't take these off. It just got caught on my shirt. That really hurt. Okay. I've got this um, stained glass window looking kit. And I was going to paint it with this because this is actually gloss paint, but I don't know how it would work um, painting it as upright because this is for painting glass that we've got it flat. So I decided not to do that. I'll figure that out. I haven't used those. I bought those for a project and I have never gotten anywhere ready to paint those. And then... But, so I'm just going to use my regular craft paint from the tr uh, Dollar Tree. Now this is just that Deco Art acrylic paint. It says it's for all surfaces. It doesn't say not on glass, so I'm going to try that and see. I do actually have the glass one that you paint and bake, but I can't seem to find those ones. So first thing to do is take the price tag off. And then clean these jars really good on the outside with uh, rubbing alcohol. My garbage can is just right there. Oh, motorcycles speeding by. Okay. I'm just gonna open my rubbing alcohol. It's a brand new bottle for crafting. I know these are my good fabric scissors and I just used it and smashed down on a tin um, or foil lid or cap to get it off. I know. <laughs> I always get mad when I see my kids using my fabric scissors for other things. But it was the closest thing I had beside me so I wouldn't have to, you know move the scissors so I don't get tempted to use them on something that's not fabric again. Just gonna and these jars were washed. But these are these are just jars that just sit here in my craft room and they just hold pencil crayons and markers. So I'm not too worried about the inside because it's kind of dirty. But just need to get the outside done good. reading the label because it says it's rubbing alcohol but it has a different smell to it it doesn't smell like just straight rubbing alcohol it smells like medicine but it's not like a straight rubbing alcohol scent I'm just trying to okay it's not straight rubbing alcohol. It's a solution with alcohol. Okay. It's good enough for crafts, I guess. Just need to wipe these jars off so the paint will stick good. And my next thing is when I get these jars wiped off is I gotta figure out what colors to, for the fruit, what colors I'm gonna use. I do want to get the lemons to match the same shade of yellow, or as close as possible. I've got some other canning jars that I've done in the past that look really, really good. I've also done the ones where I've just colored with the Sharpie and baked the Sharpie on. So maybe one of these little ones, I'll, I'll use the Sharpies. 
I'm going to shove these here. Yeah, there's my pack of Sharpies. I will do one of those jars. I'll do with the Sharpie just to give a contrast. And I found where my cat peed. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to put those back on the floor. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to keep cleaning the jars and getting my paints, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got my paint here. So I've got, I'm using the uh, Deco Art that I got from uh, the Dollar Tree. And I also have this other acrylic. I think that's how you pronounce it. Also from the Dollar Tree. So I've got the my yellows ones. I've got sunny yellow and bright yellow and for green I'm using the leaf green and the pine green. I'm just gonna give a little shake. I'm just gonna squirt some in my little paint tray I have here. This. I don't know where Let's see I don't know where the camera is. It's hard to tell. Just push it out so you can kind of see I'm just pouring a little bit of the green in there. Do the yellow here. I'm going to need more yellow than green because I don't really see too much um, leaves on. I don't really see too many leaves on here. I just want to kind of get some of the yellow in here for sure. Brush. Uh, trying to find the right size of a paintbrush. I don't know where I put my other ones. Uh, I should probably find my other ones. I'm going to be right back after I get my other paintbrushes. I need the thinner paintbrushes because this is like a fine detail. I'm just going to put some paint on and see how it looks. I'm going to see what happens if I just paint the whole thing. Let's see. Because in order for you to see it, I have to paint around the whole things. I can't just paint on the rays because it just doesn't seem to doesn't stand out unless I paint everywhere. So actually, I think I'm going to change my mind on this. I don't think I'm going to spend the time and actually paint this. I think I have yellow spray paint. I might actually just spray paint it with the yellow spray paint, but I just want to test this and see how it will look if I just That's one thing with crafting is you just kind of get an idea. I was at the dollar store and I saw this jar and I just immediately thought, oh, I could paint this. And you could really then see. But the amount of paint that I have to use to get in here and to paint over it so you can see all the raised spots. I'm just, I'm just not liking the way that the brush strokes are coming. I'd have to paint the whole thing. So I think I'm just going to leave that for now, but I'm just going to test and see which shade of yellow looks closer to that. And I'm going to test this green as well. See, I'm just going to, yeah, see for you to be able to read the words. You'd have to paint. For any of it to become visible, you'd have to paint everything. 
Now with the brush strokes, I just don't like the way the brush strokes are. And then if you go the opposite way to get rid of the brush strokes, you've taken all the paint off of. So I can see painting, well, it does look okay, but I think spray paint. So I'm gonna wipe, I'm gonna wash all of this off, and I think I'm just gonna spray paint that. I'm just gonna set these aside. Now these ones here, I will, I am going to do the Sharpie because I really like the way it looks with the Sharpie. So I'm just going to take my red, I'm just going to do the cherries. At least with the Sharpie, you know, right where you're coloring. It's a little bit more control with this. So this is why I like that other paint I had. It had a special uh, applicator tip. And you put the Sharpie on and then you put it in the oven at I think it was between 180 and 220. And there was a way that you just left it. You put it in there while you're preheating. And then as soon as it preheats, you wait, uh, I think it was like 20 or 30 minutes. You wait 20 or 30 minutes and then you turn the oven off and you leave them overnight to fully cool in the oven. That's what I'm going to do with these ones. I'm just going to get, I'm going to get the green stem on here. Like I said, it does take longer to do the Sharpie. So you have to really find where you are coloring. There's the cherry and the leaf. This is a little more here, so you can see where I didn't quite get the stem all the way. Because the other ways, you know, like this one, if I find where the cherries are, you can't even see it. So it's going to take a while, but that's what I'm going to be doing. So I will color both these with the Sharpies. And I'll show you for the grapes, it will be the purple. That's the, where they saw the grapes, they were here. Let's see, I'm trying to find right here. And you have to find where each of the grapes are. So I'm just going to. quite get my hand all the way inside. Let's see, do I, oh, I've got some of this extra white batting. So I'm just gonna let's see. This is not gonna be too big of a piece. Um, well, usually have stuff here. I can get this little towel. I'm just gonna stuff it in well it's colored so it kind of makes it harder if it was white I could give me the white background and then I'd be able to see where the where each of the little grapes are so I just don't seem to have anything at the moment that would work just gonna keep doing this to all of to both these charts and I will look up 
So I have it written down in my crafting, well, it's not written, it's, I have a crafting book and it's got all how to do different things. So I'll have to look up the, and I will say exactly what temperature and how long and I will fill myself when I get to that point. But right now I'm just gonna, it's gonna be quite a while coloring this all in. And same with that other glass jug. I guess I'll be using spray paint because that's going to take so long to paint it by hand. So you can see there's the grapes. It's going to take a little while. So I'm going to finish coloring both of these with the Sharpie and then I'll be back when I go to put them in the oven. Okay, I'm almost done the second jar with the Sharpies. There's just, I couldn't seem to find my craft book that I, that I have. And I was just looking quickly online how to do the Sharpie on glass and everything I was finding was just, they were using Sharpie oil markers. So that doesn't quite seem uh, what I had done when my kids made projects for their teachers and stuff with the Sharpie on glass and mugs. They all say, well, you I know you put them in with a cold oven and you preheat the oven and you keep these in while they're, while they're doing the preheating. And then, um, you know, the ones we had done, we had to leave them overnight. So I'm just wondering if, you know, if, I don't know, if over the years people have found faster ways, you don't have to keep them overnight. The ones I was seeing, they put them in a cold oven, preheat to 350, and then while it's preheating, then these are in there at the same time for this is like 20 minutes. Then you turn the oven off and you just leave them in there until the oven's cooled. So I'm just wondering if it has anything to do with the temperature, because I said like when my kids were making these for their teachers, that was like, I don't know. Let's see, did that project like six years ago, I think it was, maybe five years ago. Maybe it's different when you're on glass canning jars versus mugs and plates, I don't know. So I'll have to just, I had my book and I, my book is where we had found it from. And I just don't see my crafting books. I think they got moved. I took the bookshelves out of here because I needed the space. So otherwise I couldn't walk through the door into the table. So I took out some of the bookshelves I had in here and took them back downstairs. So I'll just have to see where they are. I'll just have to go double check. So as soon as I get this done, and like I said, the other jar, I'm just gonna go to the garage, up to my garage. I believe I have yellow spray paint. Then I will be spray painting that other one yellow. Because otherwise I just didn't, I thought it would work a lot better than it did, but I also thought I had the other paint. And I can't seem to find the other paint. And to do Sharpie on that big jar, that's gonna take a long time. I just wanna do these small ones with the Sharpie. So almost got it done. Got the grapes, strawberries, cherries, raspberries, an apple. Uh, uh, it's a pear and apricot and blueberries. So all I have left to do is just go over with the green. And then I will put these in the oven. Put the lids on here. Oops. Oh, so the second, my laptop is just, I'm just going to pause, my laptop is doing, oh, sorry, I'm trying to film and edit previous films all at the same time, so my laptop, I don't know, just took itself off of pause for some reason. Okay, so I'm just going to go in with the green and draw all the stems and leaves, and then I will be back for the next part. Okay, I've changed my mind again with this um, glass jar. I couldn't, don't have any yellow spray paint, so I'm just gonna just gonna mix these two yellows together. I'm just gonna paint it yellow. 
So that was one thing about crafting is, you know, you, you have an idea and it doesn't quite work and you change your mind and then you change your mind again. But I really would like to have my kitchen all done. So I'm just going to paint the whole thing. So I did. I went and I rewashed all the green and yellow paint off. Uh, re um, cleaned it with the rubbing alcohol and now I'm just gonna just do nice long strokes from the top down just trying to avoid getting you know, too many little streak marks just gonna paint this all yellow and then I might take the green and a fine, you know, water down the green with a fine paintbrush and kind of go around some of the wording and, and pictures a little. So I'm just going to paint this yellow and when I get it done, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to let this dry. Just the whole board over. I can see that there's places where the paint was a little bit heavier and other parts where it was a little bit thinner just on my brush. And I went all one direction and then I took the brush and I went all the, up the other direction just so I can get um, in here a little even where all the lemons and wording kind of sticks out a little bit so you can see it a little bit easier. I'm just going to let this first coat dry because it will definitely need a second coat. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to take these other two jars out to the kitchen and I'm going to put them in the oven. So when I'm in the kitchen, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got them upside down on a pan. So I'm just going to put them into the center rack of the oven. on to 350 for 30 minutes. Oops, okay, my camera's just tipping. Okay, I'm back in my craft room. Dog was barking and stuff, so I just paused the video just okay. So I put the can the glass jars in the oven on a middle rack at 350 for 20 minutes. It has to be a cold oven or 30 minutes, I'm sorry has to be in a cold oven while it's doing the preheating setting and then when the 30 minutes is up you turn the oven off and you leave them in the oven to cool. I will come back when um <clears throat> sorry my throat I will come back when the oven has beeped and by that time I should be doing the second coat on this jar but I'm really liking the way that this is really looking. It's not what I wanted because I wanted it to be clear and just oh, dripping paint <laughs> out of the jar. Okay, uh, just wanted to be clear and just have a few little accents so you can see the where the little lemons and the words are. So I guess it says some say lemonade, and some says limonade. So I guess it should be lemons and limes. But okay, so I will come back when those are out of the oven and I've done my second coat. Okay, welcome back. This has now had time to dry. It's actually looking pretty good. I'm just gonna paint a second coat. I'm just gonna use just the one shade of yellow. I just kinda wanna even, even this up. I'm just kinda, don't quite know, oops, what did I just do? I'm gonna grab a different paintbrush. I'm gonna grab a. It's not quite so wide. And just go over. Just anywhere where it's. Um, anywhere I can see that you can see right through the glass, I kind of wanna. just wanna kind of give it a nice even coat. I still might get some yellow spray paint and spray paint this just for a nicer, more even coat. But I just wanted to 
I saw this jar and I just wanted to try something. It's not quite working the way I wanted to. And then the paint I have, the paint I was going to use, it doesn't work on this glass paint, but you have to use it flat until it dries. You can't have it upright because it just runs. So I needed a paint that would be more, that you can paint. Paint that you can paint, you don't have to worry about, you know, like it running down the side and all puddling, I guess. So I'm just gonna get in here. I do think I'm gonna have to get some spray paint and actually spray paint this. So this is not gonna, this paint is not sticking as well as I thought it would. And while I'm doing the second coat, it's the first coat is now coming off. So I'm just gonna have to put more paint on here. Maybe if I dab it on with a sponge, but see I'm going over a few spots and it's taking the paint, the previous coat of paint is coming off as I'm going over top. Overall, I do really like the way it's looking. I do like that because you can really see the wording and the pictures. I mean, when it was clear, it was hard to read it. I just thought it said lemons. I didn't know it actually said lemon aid or lime aid. painting over it looks really good the glass jars with the sharpie are almost done too so I'm just gonna do this coat on here and then I will go get those jars because they should be done the oven is almost cooled down Yeah, see, right there, there's a couple spots right where I'm trying to paint the second coat, and it is just taking the first coat off. See, right here, for some reason, see, I'm just trying to do this, and it is just wiping away all the paint. So... See how that looks. I kind of like that idea, kind of having this paint kind of chipping off. Just gives it an interesting look. I'm just going to paint. Uh, left to right and see what I get here. And go up and down and see what I get. It's kind of an interesting finish to the bottle. I'm just going to play around with this and just see what I can do. Kind of neat how it's the paint is coming off, but it's 
not really coming off. It's just kind of moving it and it's getting this interesting effect. I don't really have anything in my house that's really yellow. All I wanted to do was just have the color on here so you can see the pictures and the words. Is it like this weird kind of like an antique kind of a finish or a look to it it's interesting I'm one of those people I just play around with things you see how it looks so, I mean if I didn't like how it looks I'll just let it dry and I can just paint over more this is really interesting I did want to try this other thing with this green paint I just want to go over the letters. Just see if I can just get the paint to just to stick to the letters, but no. Gotta grab a different brush. Let's see. I'm just trying to find a small this is a small one. Let's see. Just go over. I don't know, it has to, I guess the, I think, I'm just trying to get just over top of just the letters, and it just doesn't want to stick to the letters, it just wants to go right across everything, so I don't know. Let me just slightly go over it. For whatever reason, paint wants to go in all the little crevices. It's not what I'm wanting. But I do like the painted yellow. And as interesting as this is with this, like, it's coming off that's not my style it does look good I do kind of like it but it doesn't fit with the rest of my house my house is just a certain way like I don't do that farmhouse country distress stuff I've done some things where I've done that um, look to things I've got a tray oh I can't reach it I've got a tray under here what I actually did using the colors of my house and I it was okay for a little while it looked kind of okay for like the fall and kind of going into Christmas because I kind of did something different for Christmas that one year I kind of like did like a rustic kind of a Christmas feel and it kind of looked okay but the rest of the year it didn't fit in with the my house okay so I will say I do like this I will like it better when it's all yellow so I think I will just get some yellow spray paint and I will just let this dry and I will just spray paint it tomorrow yellow. I've got some other stuff I was going to spray paint and I think the weather is changing on me. It's getting kind of closer to supper time too. So I'm just going to pause for a second. I'm just going to go get those jars out of the oven and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went to the kitchen. I just pulled them out of the oven. They're so just a little warm to touch. But that's just the colored with the Sharpie. Now, I like about these ones is it's got the 
airspace, you know right where your label is. You know what your little canning label goes right there and it fits. So I forget who makes these ones. Uh, but I have the labels that actually fit right there. Oh, really good. I'm just going to see, do I have something? Why don't I have anything here that I can put down and easier to see? I'm surrounded by stuff, but nothing is uh, right. Let's see. Stuck uh, this down. Let's see? Kind of move this around so you can see with the white you can see the other thing i was trying to find was i have a jar that i had done quite a few years ago with the actual glass paint and i can't find any of those jars just to compare them to See if there's something kind of white in there it kind of makes it easier you can actually see like the fruit like there's the grapes and there's the apricot and a pear and then i do these ones like blue for more like blueberries and a strawberry and then got the raspberries and cherries I like how these ones looked. These looked, these were just an afterthought while I was doing that. I'm glad I did that. This one, I, I do like it painted yellow. I'm gonna actually spray paint it yellow. So I'm gonna go and wipe all this paint off. So I'm gonna wash all this paint off and get it back to the clear and I'm gonna paint it yellow. So I will do that tomorrow. I have some other items I was gonna be painting. So tomorrow is gonna be a painting uh, crafting day like a spray paint and stuff so I guess uh, say, uh, thank you for watching my videos thank you for subscribing to my channel and I will see you in my next video bye okay uh, welcome back this is the next day I'm just gonna spray paint the yellow jars and do a nice even spray Really trying to get where I can see some of the uh, glass wasn't sprayed yesterday. Also, I have a little bit right there where some bugs got caught in it. It really were after, interested in the yellow. I do have some drip lines, but I'm not too worried about the drip lines. It's just going to be sitting in my house. It's good enough for me. I'll be doing this wrong. But like I said, it's good enough for me. Just a quick little uh, spraying into the wind. It's just going to be sitting up on the shelf in my living room or dining room or somewhere, just to give a touch of color. So I'm not too worried about how good of a job I do. I just wanted some color in my house. But I'm usually better at this one not when it's not windy. I was going to do it at the other coat last night, but we had a thunderstorm with hail. Gonna let these dry and I'm just gonna go and grab the other can of spray paint and do the blue one. Okay I'm out in my backyard I'm really close to a busy street a lot of motorcycles just went by. Okay so this jar I'm just gonna spray it with this minty blue color. Yeah. 
kind of spraying it like into the wind. I'm on a different side of my uh, yard today. I was over in the other spot. I have some protection from the wind, but I didn't want to spray the side of my house. That looks good now. I'm just gonna let these uh, dry and I will show you what they look like when they are fully dried. Okay, so my jars are still just a little tacky, but I really like the way it looks. I'm gonna give it a week to dry and then I'm gonna spray paint again with the, the yellow on this one. This is the one that I was having so much trouble trying to paint. Uh, yellow the other day. The paint I had just wiped off. It wasn't going on. It wasn't the right color, but I really like this color. I forget. It's a golden something yellow. I, I can't remember what I was. I'll, when I remember, I will say it. And so then I had this was just a clear uh, jug I had to just sit on, just kind of sits in my shelf on, or on my uh, china cabinet hutch or whatever and it just kind of sits there so I thought oh, that'd be nice to just have a matching set and I had this jar that oops, this jar that I was gonna paint I didn't know what color uh, this one I believe it had um, raspberry or cherry syrups in it uh, we don't drink but I do make like a mock Shirley Temple type stuff for the kids with ginger ale and a little bit of uh, fruit juice or other flavorings. So it looks pretty good. I mean, it's got a few, again, like some of the drips. It was really windy today when I'm trying to do this. I would have done it uh, last night when I had first spray painted them and I was ready to do it. And then we hit hail and thunderstorm. So I couldn't do it, but I said in about a week when they're really dry, I will go and give them a second coat because this, or a third coat, I guess, because this one I can see where the paint dripped and it kind of missed some areas. And then these were the two canning jars that I did with the Sharpie. Just put a piece of white paper in so you can see it better. So that was just the Sharpie just baked on the glass. There's that one and there's this one. I just too bad I couldn't find my other jar I had done I think about 14 or 16 years ago with the actual glass paints that you actually put your paint on the glass and you actually bake it in the oven just to compare the difference between the Sharpie and the actual paint. Uh, so I just want to say, yep, that was uh, my uh, painting the uh, glass jars and how much I struggled through that one, but I finally got everything where I liked it and say, I just want to say to everybody, you know, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos and I will see you in my next video.